Willie Nelson is the patron saint of Austin. But in this video, I'm gonna show how his influence on the city not only kept it weird, but it actually plays a role in the Austin innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem. So let's get into it. Before there was Trigger, Willie Nelson's signature beat up guitar, before there was a statue of him outside of City Hall, Willie Nelson was a country musician in Nashville. It was the 60s, he was playing on variety shows, mostly working as a songwriter, and he was making records. But he felt constrained. He felt like he couldn't really be who he wanted to be. So he picked up and he moved to Austin in the early 70s. While he was there, he started playing shows at a place called the Armadillo World Headquarters, which is a legendary music venue in Austin musical history. This is the club that gave rise to Janis Joplin and it really put Austin on the map. Bands like ACDC and Frank Zappa, big national acts, came through because of the Armadillo. Where things get interesting is when Willie Nelson started playing there. He was exploring what country music was, and he started pioneering a new sound, a sound called Outlaw Country, that was a grimier, less polished version of what was coming out of Nashville. And from there, he even got weirder. He started adding jazz elements to his music. The Austin audiences embraced him. They were okay with him experimenting, trying out new things. They gave it a chance. Another thing that's kind of interesting is that the hippies, the bikers, and the cowboys, when they would go see Willie Nelson play at the Armadillo, they didn't beat the crap out of each other, which in Texas in the 70s, them not beating each other up was a rare, special good thing. But while this was happening with Willie on a larger scale, the roots of Austin were also thriving. You could move to Austin and get a job at a music venue or get a job in a restaurant and play in a band. Your friends would actually come watch you play. You could experiment and you could try different things. This is the beginning of keeping Austin weird. And this is the beginning of Austin being a place where you can start something. This is where John Mackey had some ideas about how to change the way America shops for groceries and change the way that America eats. And he did so with Whole Foods. This same current is what allowed Michael Dell to start Dell Computer in his dorm room in Austin, Texas, which changed the way America bought computers. Austin is a place where you can start things, and all roads lead back to Willie Nelson starting new things in this wonderful place. So keep Austin weird, and a big thank you to Willie Nelson for helping make Austin what it is. So I moved to Austin 20 years ago, and I'm playing in a band, and we're playing at a show at Emo's Downtown. Emo's is this kind of hipster indie rock club. And what I remember about the show we played that night is that it was the same night as a University of Texas football game. And the game was playing on televisions in the venue. And this kind of struck me, because where I'm from, you really had to choose who you were. You were a nerd or a jock, or a musician or whatever, but you had to stay in your lane and you couldn't really be anything else. And here we are in Austin where it's hipster indie rocker types, but the game's on and people are watching that as well. And it was the beginning of me understanding that Austin is a city that will accept you however you are, whatever you're into, and you don't have to just be one thing. So I feel really grateful and indebted to the city for giving me that feeling and giving me just an amazing time here. So if you like this kind of stuff, join my newsletter. I talk about entrepreneurship, learning video and facilitation, and much love to Willie Nelson and the city of Austin, Texas. All right, stay well, y'all. Yeah. Bye-bye.